Braised pork rice is Taiwan. The most common gourmet snacks. And this braised pork rice in Dadoching, Taipei. Since the 30th year of the Republic of China. From a small stall car, all the way to a storefront. And the good taste passed down for three generations. Not only captured the taste buds of gourmets. Also once boarded the double ten state banquet food. And the stewed pork rice in the store is eaten in the mouth. Salty marinade. Paired with fat but not greasy pork cubes. Oily aroma and sticky glue. Plus a half-boiled poached egg. Can't help but salivate. The boss Shi Jiahong used to be. Problem students in the eyes of teachers. To fight. Decided to study catering in Taipei. Inherit the ancient taste of grandpa. Today there is a 50 bento box. At present, there are more leg warehouses and pig feet. It's not open yet. Delivery order. Already made sure Jiahong and his wife. Very busy. There are many gourmets. Just have to taste. This lingering good taste. The more distinctive features of the waste bank are. It's marinated and full of flavor. Then it's elastic. Actually all together. It tastes better. I should buy it in two days. More distinctive words are, for example. Like his stewed pork rice with a soft boiled egg. Yolk juice. Pour over the rice. There is some food. Some of the sweetness of the egg yolk is more. I think it's a rather unique place. And it's braised pig's feet. It's also tender with skin and meat. It's also very tasty. Capable of conquering the taste buds of gourmets. It's not easy. Although it is a civilian snack. Sure Jiahong for details. Still quite demanding. Pre-production process of braised pork rice. I don't even buy pre-made red onion crisps. He insists on frying fresh every day. Crispy garlic and shallots first. I'll put it first. Fry till it turns golden. There is also ground meat in it. And some ground meat. Ground pork. Red onion crisps are ready-made. But it. A lot of taste will not be very fragrant. Choose fat-rich oil jelly. Crispy minced pork with red onion and garlic. Stir fry. It must be marinated until it is colored and tasty. The process is quite labor intensive. This kind of thing is. Almost always with a small fire. Just wait for it to roll. But it this. Wait a minute the fire is bigger. Just be sure to stir it up. Otherwise, I'm afraid the bottom of it will burn. It's useless to burn the pot below. Braised pork is amber in color. Oily and crystal clear. Like jewels shining. S braised pork. Exudes bursts of attractive marinade fragrance. It looks more attractive when poured over rice. Braised pork that melts in your mouth. The rice at the bottom is fragrant and full of sauce. It also won the honor of braised pork rice at the state banquet. Just in 2019. Just in time for the election. Everyone is talking about braised pork rice. Halfway through the business, someone came to look for it. Is going to the state banquet. I just want to say yes. Anyway, my grades in school were so bad. This life can be with. It would be nice to have a photo with the president at the state banquet. Shi Jiahong said with a smile that he never liked reading. He never thought. Can be on stage one day. Opportunity for recognition. Used to be at school. Is a problem student in the eyes of the teacher. Studied auto mechanics. I wanted to learn a skill. But I found out it wasn't my interest. After leaving the army. Because we must live. So go to work in the factory. How do you work overtime? Your life will still not be good. Then I just knocked them all out and retrained. He was only 30 years old that year. Because I am interested in cooking. Decided to go north to work as an apprentice in a western restaurant. This day is 10 years. But I found western food. If you want to start a business, difficulty is a bit high. And the amount of capital may also be high. My grandfather used to cook braised pork rice. He passed it on to my uncle. But my uncle was later. He retired. In this regard, if you want to start a business, you will. Entry barriers will be better. Sure, Jiahong thought of his grandfather in Datong district in his early years. The business is as awesome for rice and canola rice. And this old fashioned taste is also the result of my grandfather. The most irresistible taste. About a few hours before he grandfather passed away. 
My dad and uncle just asked him. Do you have anything to eat? My grandfather was lying on the bed. He said he wanted to eat pig feet. Just the middle section. They used to call it four o'clock meat. The result is that there are bought. But when you come back. My grandpa can't take it anymore. Not long after. Left in a few hours. Food is the way to find memories. Sure Jia Hong 4, don't let grandpa's good taste get lost. Decided to start a business and open a braised pork rice snack bar. Slowly stir fry until soft. Fry it slowly until it becomes soft. Then when the water comes out, put it there for stewing. Like stewed. This cabbage stew is. It was taught by my mother. Because she's from the south. I really like that old-fashioned one. Serve table dishes like table dishes. I'll take a look first. Look at its softness. I think the big intestine tastes better. But relatively, the cost of the large intestine is relatively high. Besides, store features. Advertised as pure natural without MSG. So broth. From the opening of the store, it must be cooked with big bones. It's all pig bones. So hot every day. Such a bucket is about 8 caddies. 8 pounds of big bones go down to heat. It's hot from morning to close. Drink like us. I feel like saying. Hot bone broth is the best. It's smoother to drink. Like say if you add some comparison. What chemical thing? I feel like drinking. It shouldn't taste like this. Big bone broth should be heated for at least 8 hours a day. Hot to brine. Although time consuming. Sure Jia Hong has never been lazy. Because this is the insistence passed down by grandfather. Later he passed it on to my uncle. But my uncle is. Just passed away last year. Because of old age. That photo in the back. That's when he came to see me in Taipei. Because he was a bit inconvenient to move at that time. Yeah so when he came. In fact, he said a word. I'm a little sad to hear that. He said he came to see you in Taipei this time. Maybe the last time. It's only a year after the result. Although wearing a mask. But from Sher Jiahong's tone and expression. Can still feel. The loneliness in his heart. Because in the first few years when the store opened. Bad business. Fortunately, there is uncle's guidance all the way. At first because business must be bad. And like near us. There are also many old braised pork rice restaurants. So I was miserable. At that time I was thinking. I don't know how long I can live. Worst business ever. Just the two of us make 3,000 yuan a day. Despite this. Sure Jia Hong and his wife still do not give up. Pay more attention to details. Like we do with this pork knuckle. Actually we think. Actually we think. The most troublesome place is. Like it sometimes chops. It's toes. There may be gaps. So we're going to cut it apart again. Burn it again. Otherwise the one in it, between toes and toes. There will be hairs in the gaps sometimes. There will be hairs in the gaps sometimes. Carefully remove the fine hair of the pig's feet. Ginger star anise rice wine. Boil to remove fishy smell. Then flush immediately. This way the skin will be cute. The popular pork knuckle in the store. Marinated. A tender pork skin. Bring out the smooth and tender taste. Take a bite. You can feel the full gelatin. Swirling in the mouth. There is also this signature meat rice. Repeated stewing of aged marinade. Absorb the essence of marinade from the inside out. Lean meat can eat mellow soy sauce. Sweet with pork. The fat part is oily but not greasy. Limited mid-hoof. Marinated super thoroughly. Just swipe. Immediately separate the flesh and blood. Opened for more than four years. Accumulate a good reputation. Except internal use. They also developed the home delivery market. We have started delivery. Send the message like this. Everyone knows us. There are frozen packs. It's the size of a small family. Heat for 5 to 10 minutes. You can eat it all. Although the future is full of challenges. But as long as you keep trying, must be able to overcome difficulties. Sure Jia Hong hopes. Through simple and affordable food. Inherit the good taste in memory.
Near Taipei Main Station, there is a family hidden in the alley, veteran beef noodle shop. And it tastes good. It was the 38th year of the Republic of China. Fragrance from Shandong to Taipei. Once sold for 70 years. Lu Shaolin, the second generation boss. Inheriting father's good craftsmanship. Fresh local beef. Cut into triangles just before serving. First reserved gravy. The second tastes better. The more you chew the better. Pair with stewed or braised soup. There are also homemade handmade chopstick noodles. Let many people eat from young to old. And it's hard to imagine. This unassuming little shop in an alley. It was recommended by Bib Gourmand. What's so great about it? Take a look. Two red, roasted, pork ribs. Their signature is clear stew, good soup. Mainly his noodles are also made by himself. So you can't eat this kind of noodles outside. Is the braised braised pork here also semi-muscle? For two bowls of thin red and one bowl of half muscle meat. Rush hour. Full house every day. In Taipei, where land is at premium. Hard to find. Only six ping size storefront. Just hide in this back alley. The small shop is inconspicuous in the alley. Still can't hide beauty. Let the second generation boss Lu Shaolin. Too busy to stop and rest. I am very happy. I don't have low main I will die. Real. You take it as a hobby. Just such a happy thing. How can you be tired? Lu Shaolin inherited. Shandong people have a warm and enthusiastic character. Shandong style beef noodles. 70 years of fragrance. Stock full of beef. Roll in a stock pot. With the hot smoke. Bursts of fragrance. So tempting. This beef beef soup is good. Right here. It's essence. There is another essence. Did you see? Pork belly. The soul of homemade beef noodles. It's Lu Shaolin and his wife. 30 caddies of beef bones are used daily. After boiling for 12 hours, renew the bone and continue to heat up. Pair with another pot of beef essence. Mix two pots of beef broth with different concentrations. This is the beef noodle soup. Delicious key. Stewed beef noodles is the signature. The cut of meat is also very particular. Cut into one piece like this. Is there a slope here? Have an angle. We do so. Is it a triangle? There are thin and thick. Is a triangle. It tastes a little bit when you eat it. Another bowl of braised beef noodles. Beef ribs. After stewing. Chewy but not dry wood. Add brown sugar to the soup and boil it. It tastes rich and undeadly salty. Been eating since his dad. About 20 years old. I'm in my 70s now. And its smell. Nothing changed. This timeless deliciousness. Two generations of hot sale for 70 years. 38 years of the Republic of China. Father Lu Peiqin came to Taiwan. At that time in order to support the family. Sell beef noodles. Shandong flavor of hometown. That's how it became a sign. From the mobile cart. Now it has become a regular snack bar. Old store without fancy decoration. The reason why you stand still. Rely on the truth. Making beef noodles doesn't have to be complicated. Your food is better. This is the spirit you insist on. You don't want to save. Saving things makes a difference. In order to save this delicious food for dad, Lu Shaolin guards every process with all his heart. Look at every step carefully. Although it is already a famous store, every morning at 4 o'clock, still with his wife Kai Yuman, prepare in person. Moving equipment and spare parts. Chairs per table. All carefully wiped clean. Prepare hot soup. Work hard like old dad. 91 years old. Just a bowl of beef noodles every day. He eats a bowl every day. Would you like to check your handiwork by the way? He has a picky mouth. He will check to see if the chili oil is cooked. Is the soup just right? In an interview many years ago, Father Lu just wants to taste every day. Son's craft. Although it is not good now. But still thinking about. Therefore, Lu Shaolin has never seen the sun since dawn. Make it dark. Never complain. Stewed beef noodles. Use fresh Taiwanese warm body beef. The taste of nostalgia. Braised beef noodles. Choose Australian beef ribs. Cook for a soft and tender taste. This is braised beef noodles, meat. Now we are going to cook it. Blanch it. Cut it later. If you cut that block. It's better to cut. Then here is. The soul of the whole soup. This is also the soul. This pot is also more concentrated. The couple spent time and persistence. In order to heat up the soup base, the aftertaste is endless. But braised beef noodles. I added these flavors. 
just to cook this caramel. So this fire must be controlled. Then this will go down a little bit. Do you have? Garlic ginger. Lu Shaolin on the other side didn't bother. Quickly cut the beef bone soup. The tailbone is broken. Premature aging. That's why I bought this machine. For more than 30 years, there is something wrong with the body. But Lu Shaolin is very stubborn. Keep doing whatever you say. Installed three heart stents. He held on. Did not hold on to this small case. Yes, all small cases. We can't say no. Did you have a good rest in here? Yes, two and a half months off. When did this happen? Epidemic. The store closed for two and a half months. Some old employees. Fall over ten years. Suddenly no income. Lu Shaolin with Shanghai-style personality. Nature has a way. Each employee is given 30,000 yuan. Daily living expenses. Almost a thousand or so. Subsidize it. But I have no income. It is very difficult for you to get this money out. Fortunately, there is a deposit. Just to spend this time. Lu Shaolin and his wife who treat employees like family members, not only continue to pay. Unbelievable taste. Being chased by customers every day. There are more old customers. They will all call. We talk every day. Not open yet. He keeps asking what time we open. We don't know either. The epidemic has slowed down. Let's do it when it's open. Once you do it, you will have confidence. Why? Slash 270% sure. Feast on old rain and new knowledge. Especially the beef noodle without green onion. It is full of green and white garlic sprouts. Glides over the tip of the tongue, sweet and mellow. Developed by myself. Why? You go with something. Like beef noodles. It's the same meaning as you go with garlic sprouts. You don't go well with onions. Add garlic to enhance the taste. I also thought of a soybean meal in our house. Tempeh is appetizing and refreshing. I just take this. Participate in the J Beef Noodle competition. Got first. Awarded many times. Already used to applause. Two years. Recommended by Michelin Bib Gourmand. But behind the brilliant achievements. It's Lu Shaolin. The dramatic life of the prodigal son. Hotel tycoon in his youth. Lost in the end. At that time, he was telling me. He said he didn't want to drag me down. He said otherwise we divorced. My idea is to say. Of course not a divorce. Then borrow money. So those days were hard, right? It's really hard work. Remember the hard work. Kai Yuman couldn't help but choked up. Lu Shaolin only found out after waking up from the dream. It is the most realistic to sell a bowl of noodles. I told my dad that I came back to sell noodles. Do it for you. So it started slowly. When I paid off, I had 5,000 yuan left on me. It's not easy to share the joys and sorrows. Husband and wife are still in love. Hand in hand. Just like homemade noodles with chopsticks. It is also the insistence of the two generations of the Lu family. In addition to beef noodles, the store's signature, and this bowl of rib noodles. Garlic ginger soy sauce. Just get the ratio right. Is this our exclusive recipe? Passed down to daddy. Haven't changed. Not changed. Each piece is slapped by hand. Repeated dipping in the sauce. Outer skin without a thick coat. Hot and freshly fried. Fried golden skin. Fragrant. Side dishes are also super affordable. So cheap so cheap. 20 yuan per plate. So cheap right. Come this is table 3. This is a matter of inheritance. Dad passed it on. I am also interested myself. Each other. Naturally get it up. You have to spend half an hour in the steam room. You can stay here. Look how hot it is here. You just know. Every day in the hot air with oil soup. Lu Shaolin catches 500 caddies of noodles every day. Except willpower. There is also a sense of mission. From purchasing to hot soup. Hands on every step. Just for the guests to eat. A bowl of satisfying beef noodles. Because I live out of town. I have come to Taipei. Almost all go here for lunch. How old are you? Start eating right. How long has it been? 50 years. Its soup is absolutely not sloppy. 
at least the pure one I ate. Stewed beef noodles and braised beef noodles. So far I say it's number one. Old customers continue to support each other. Now the two sons are also helping in the shop. 70 years old taste. Lu Shaolin and his wife. Seriously take father's delicacy. Hand it down. Now after all I've done it. I also promoted it. I don't want many things now. Many things are gone. Peace is good enough. More delicious. Thanks. Safe and safe. Now turn around and think about it. Also a memory. Although it is a setback. But feel good. Frustration is right. Today's achievement. Come back here after all. Really do. Stop being funny. Hu Yuanqing's special stinky tofu. He insists on using pure natural. Medicinal marinade for more than 60 years. According to different size odor. Make different stinky tofu. Steamed, fried, fried, everything. Crispy on the outside and juicy on the inside. Spicy flavor with steam. Then you can eat the soft and tender tofu. And the aroma of pepper. Who you inching from the black hand who repaired the car. Changing careers to sell national snacks. And why did he choose to live in seclusion in the mountains? Come and see his story. Steam fried boiled fried stew. Every taste is different. Eating tofu every day is a happy life. My surname is Hu. Crispy on the outside and soft on the inside. But the crispy part outside. It also has a slightly soft taste. Then when you eat it. The smell inside will remain in the mouth. Quite distinctive. Not the same as normal stinky tofu. It comes in various sizes. It tastes different. Will be a little bit in the mouth. Keep the unique taste of stinky tofu. Stinky tofu, the favorite civilian snack of Taiwanese. Stinky smell. Make people love this taste. This small shop in downtown Keelung. Selling stinky tofu is a son-in-law. It is the father-in-law who makes stinky tofu. And this mysterious father-in-law. Don't live in the city. People in Keelung call his stinky tofu. It's deep mountain stinky tofu. I didn't expect the deep mountain stinky tofu we were looking for. It's really deep in the mountains. We just passed a mountain road. All around are trees and weeds. And then at the end. See a house. But no one was seen. But I found a board. It actually says loudly called A Xing. Is A Xing the boss? Let me try. A Xing. Are you the boss? Hello? Are you the brother A Xing written on the board? You are selling. A Xing is me, I am A Xing. Why did I have to call you to come out? Because of the mountain. All you can hear is the chirping of insects and birds. It's called passphrase. So you call A Xing more affectionate. Finally found A Xing himself. He is indeed a boss with a personality. Walking into the house, what comes out is a faint special taste. Others say it stinks. Hu Yuanqing thought it was fragrant. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't smell bad. The smell is also very fragrant. Ours stinks. Fragrance that won't make people hate. From the 1984 of the Republic of China. Once sold is 25 years. Hu Yuanqing sells stinky tofu out of tradition. Put bigger pieces. Those that have been fermented for a long time are called big fat. Taste and odor of each shape are different. Soak at least 26 to 36 hours to taste. Dried white beans are delivered from tofu shops. So delivered in the morning now to dip. Choose solid tofu. Don't choose the hollow one. Large and small blocks, shape, he distinguish people. He knows the tofu I eat. What does it look like? Thicker or thinner? Brother Xing, what flavor are you using now? This big fat. The guests come to smell the scent. The biggest reason is. Hu Yuan Xing's marinade is made by himself. Rhizome and leafy vegetables winter melon ginger, traditional Chinese medicine. All natural cooling ingredients. Because it's cool. Coolness is to be placed for a year. Sealed and stored for one year. The taste will be strong. So after a year it becomes. Become raw material. This natural fermentation is relatively slow. If you want to speed up faster. Just soak the medicine and you'll be fine. Do anything with a conscience? Just do it like this. 
Restore the marinade process of making stinky tofu. Let it ferment naturally for a year. This is Hu Yuanxing's cause of conscience. He also conquers the world with this blindness. I will be sad if I don't eat. Eating will make people miss this. The longer the medicated marinade is left. Will become old. Interview topic. Just like an old loon, the conversation gets deeper and deeper. The reporter asked. Brother Xing, your old brat here. How many years is the longest? Unexpectedly, it was from Ningbo, Zhejiang. A Jiazi classic. Brother Xing, what is this? It's all old. How long has it been? This is more than a year old. It's all done, it's all done. Now you see. Do you have a taste for that? Yes, you come to smell. No. Actually, it's okay. Fortunately, there is a grass. Really a smell of grass. Yes, it's all winter melon, fermented. These 60 years have exceeded. 80 years? This is from Ningbo, Zhejiang. Why did you get this in the first place? This is a destined person. This is a destined person. Meet by chance. Inheriting the medicated diet formula from Zhejiang. Hu Yuanqing's stinky life began. Selling stinky tofu is for life. Also an interest. Because Hu Yuanqing himself loves to eat stinky tofu. So he insists on quality. So this bubbles up. Ganping pungent taste will be slightly bitter. Bitterness is annealing. You know it's medicinal food. Brine will be bittersweet bittersweet. That's the most authentic. Pick up the old and add the new. Only when the old one is picked up will it be passed on from generation to generation. It has been more than 80 years since I. So just keep it going. Continuation flavor, no. It just won't let it stale so. A marinade passed down through generations. It is the soul of making stinky tofu. After soaking, take it out quickly and arrange it neatly. Fermented tofu. From white bubbles to black lulu. That you want to soak in. These haven't gone in yet. If you go in and eat it, it will taste delicious. Does it look black? Is it soaked in and it is black inside? The sound of frying that everyone is most familiar with. The moment the stinky tofu is thrown in, it explodes. Wait until the golden brown tofu rises to the surface. When it's delicious. Big fat little fat. It's a taste that will burst when you bite it. A mouthful of crunch and smell is even higher. Kapok is a popular taste. Every kind of stinky tofu is crispy and soft. Even the smell is different. It depends on which flavor the customers like. Big fat and small fat have different smells. In general, there are three kinds of odors in it. I also like the taste of them. Just enough. Very smelly can also. Look at the guests. The guests should smell a little bit. You stink. It's just bad smell. Hu Yuanqing is very good at creating his own taste. Stinky tofu with preserved eggs. Called stinky skin sauce. Spicy and spicy steamed stinky tofu. Find fun in civilian snacks. Has become his daily routine. Every ingredient needs to be found. Their best stage. Kimchi is like the soul of stinky tofu. This one sells poorly, so I have to cut it off. Because kimchi is about appearance. It's not bad if there are no black shifts and no orders. This weight is enough. Some dishes are empty and not heavy enough. This stripped there, but it's heavy. It's all on scales. Pickled with salt only. Brings out the sweetness and crunch of cabbage. Hu Yuanqing cuts vegetables skillfully and quickly. It's hard to imagine before making stinky tofu. He is a mafia. Specializes in car repairs. To be a black hand is to have black hands. Hands will crack in winter. It's also interesting to cook and eat. Hu Yuanqing's second brother. Just making stinky tofu. After settling in Keelung, he followed suit and learned how to make a marinade. Make up gradually. Selling stinky tofu in a small fortune car. Almost ran all over Keelung. Zhongshan District, Xinqi District, Anil District. Up and down the sea. The community sells until 12 o'clock. Go to the beach and sell until dawn. Have done. Advertised as real materials and natural handmade. By pointing around. Hu Yuanqing stinky tofu. Accumulated a lot of loyal customers. Business is good. It's more than 2,000 yuan a day if you do it casually. There must be someone selling along the road. If you hawk and yell for a long time, no one will. How can you sell no one? If no one comes to buy stinky tofu. It's called stinky and fragrant stinky tofu. No one calls it anymore. Stinky tofu. People come. The most honest seller of stinky tofu in the world. He will tell you that my stinky tofu is stinky. 
with down-to-earth qualities. Hu Yuanqing is like a born. It's like selling stinky tofu, it went well once it was sold. It also allows him to support his wife and children. A happy marriage. But draw an end at this time. I don't like being in charge. That is to say, the personalities of the two people. Some people love to live in the mountains. I ask you. Wouldn't it be better if the two were separated like this? I want to let go, I want to let go, don't say so much. Understatement brought past marriage. Hu Yuanqing actually wants to protect the other party. As he said, let go when fate is over. After the divorce he chooses to live in the present, living his mountain life. Because I'm the kind of person who goes with the flow. I've been here before with nothing. I have nothing, and I slowly use it like this. Originally, when I was making a booth. I got a lot of customers. One guests just smell the fragrance. The guests are amazing. You don't have to say where you are. When the car door is opened, the smell follows. Followed. Brick by brick, flower, and grass. All hand built. There are also many guests who come here admiringly. Just such a life. Don't you feel lonely? No, loneliness is what you're thinking about. How can I be single when I have a horse? How can I be lonely here with insects singing and birds singing? That's right, the horse that Wishinga said. It is the pet that has accompanied him for seven years. Time not to make stinky tofu. Come here if you want to find him. It knows you're calling it. In fact, it will call me when it is hungry. Brush it often. The more you brush it, the more trust it has in you. Do you think you are living? What kind of life? Free. Some people buy and no one rides. Right, don't buy randomly. Opening your mouth is an innate sense of humor. Raising horses and shearing flowers. Hu Yuanqing finds balance in mountain life. I've been looking for someone to take over. Fortunately, the son-in-law two years ago. Start to study. Take this exclusive Shinga stinky fragrance. Hand it down. Our tofu is the same as outside. Traditional is not the same. It is softer. If the oil is not warm enough, it will dissipate. Learn slowly, and there will always be times when you make mistakes. A simple stinky tofu is more fragrant than flowers. Both poetic and beautiful. Civilian snacks change to Yuanqing's life. Those days of selling stinky tofu in the mountains. Presumably will continue. Like smelling fate. This medicine stewed rib stand has a history of 30 years, also recommended by Michelin Bib Gourmand. Boss Lady Wu Xiaoyi. She uses 11 Chinese herbal medicines every day, with fresh pork ribs. Stew for more than 3 hours. The soup is naturally sweet, there will be no bitter taste of traditional Chinese medicine. Thousands of bowls can be sold in one day alone. Cool night. Drink this bowl of hot medicine stewed ribs soup. It's really heartwarming and stomach warming. Come inside please sit down. There are two seats here. Four tables, two sheep and two sheep are good. Impressed by the first time I ate. Come again and ask again. Rahanai Market, Taipei City. Tourists gather from all over. After 5 o'clock in the evening, vendors are ready to open. And this medicine stewed rib stand, already crowded. 106 pay the bill. Boss Lady Wu Xiaoyi. Greet guests energetically. Petite Shi. Pick up the bowl neatly. Pour hot soup. This bowl of stewed pork ribs is fragrant. Two consecutive years. Receive a Michelin Bib Gourmand recommendation. Eight tables, two rows, two meals. Whether it's weekdays or holidays. The stall is always full. Attract many tourists. Because Taiwan. We also went to many other places. Then the same medicated pork ribs. I still feel the taste of cooking here. Very tasty. I came from Tainan to check online. Then I heard the name of this place for a long time. Then the mutton is big and solid. Delicious like this. It doesn't smell like sheep at all. And its meat is very very soft. It's like melting in your mouth. But with this soup. Actually I think it's just right. Because it has a strong smell of Chinese medicine. In the cold night market. Filled with a strong aroma of traditional Chinese medicine. A big bowl of soup filled with tender pork ribs. Juicy and delicious. Rely on real materials. Boss Lady Wu Xiaoyi. Start preparing materials every afternoon. 
A big bag of pork ribs weighing dozens of kilograms is to use freshly slaughtered pork. The meat is soft and tender without the smell of meat. Because we now have medicine packs. Already put it down. The medicine bag has to break it up. The smell of medicine will come out. Broth to bone ratio. Just right. But with 11 kinds of traditional Chinese medicine. Inside a cauldron. Angelica Yugue Chuanxiong. Romania wolfberry, licorice and other medicinal materials. From high fire to low fire. Cooked for 3 hours to complete. Ribs in Chinese herbal soup. Hot boil until soft and tender. Blends perfectly with the sweet soup. The shop just opened. Regular customers are already waiting to buy. Very strong and very tasty. It is full of materials. Every time I come to Taiwan, I look for this place. Because it was just over there. It was always in the front. Moved here now. From a street vendor to a storefront. Boss Lady Wu Xiaoyi. In fact, with Mr. Qin Jiahua, clothes are sold at Rauha Night Market. Unexpectedly, business continued to decline. The couple decided to close the stall, switch careers and start selling food. One day we will go back to my husband's house. In Zhonghua. Go back and talk to mother-in-law. Our clothes are not selling well. We're going to sell food instead. My mother-in-law thought about it. Then you sell your mister often. Stewed pork ribs with medicine that I ate when I was a child. What did I say is stewed pork ribs with medicine? I don't know either. She said I'll cook it for you. You eat and see. Wu Xiaoyi, who has no experience in catering, after eating the medicine stewed pork ribs cooked by my mother-in-law. I think the soup tastes bitter. Poor appearance. Put a big question mark in my heart. My mother-in-law said that if you think it's not tasty, you go back and improve yourself. This is also the case while selling and improving. Improve while selling. Change for a month or two. That's it Wu Xiaoyi. After studying art with my mother-in-law. Back to Taipei and started selling. This is very strange to everyone. Herbal stewed ribs. When I first made it. Business is really not good. No one in Raha Street sells this kind. Is a new noun. What kind of medicine do you dare to eat stewed pork ribs? Wu Xiaoyi integrated suggestions from some guests. Improve bitter Chinese herbal medicines too. After everyone fully accepts the taste. Make her own herbal soup. Such a sale is 30 years. Some have been eating for 20 or 30 years. And mom with kids. He is married now. Bring the kids to eat again. And this bowl of stewed rib soup with medicine. There is also hidden love behind it. Now that Mr. Chin Jiahua has retired. Dedicate most of life to charity. He didn't do it in his 40s. He had high blood pressure when he had high blood pressure. I won't make him too tired. He said he couldn't do it all day at home. Right? Just go outside. Join some charitable organizations. He has joined for 20 or 30 years. I'm already 60 years old. I want to do what I have to do. Because I had no money when I was young. I said if I had money. I will do charity. Then our most important thing is to do. Columbarium and coffin. Wu Xiaoyi and Mr. Qin Jiahua. Raise funds to do good deeds. Donate coffins to those in need. Kindness of the couple. It warms the stomach and heart like medicine stewed pork ribs. Also by my own strength. Let many local old customers. Come to Rauha Night Market. Must report here. On the streets of Jinshan District, New Taipei. There is a popular bun shop. Signature scallion meat wrapped with scallion and meat filling. Braised pork buns have a strong ancient flavor. Sauerkraut buns and cabbage buns. You can taste freshly fried vegetables. Handmade dough is solid and elastic. Every day from 5 in the morning. The first cage of steamed stuffed buns came out and started to be busy. The customers in line hardly stop. It's a bag. There were people. Bought 80 buns at once. Boss Wang Daoquan. I am a bun control. Love to eat steamed stuffed buns since childhood. Dad Wang Xuexian is the only one who loves Chinese dim sum. Just the father and son at the beginning. Only pigs can be raised for a living. This pig farmer has become the king of steamed stuffed buns. What kind of story does it have?
I can eat up to 134 at a time. Fifteen braised pork. Is there brown sugar? There are five packs of brown sugar. I'm sorry for the guest. Five minutes sooner now. Please wait. Please wait. Buy twenty get one free. What's your favorite flavor? I like to eat onion meat buns. I like scallions. It's also a sign of scallions and meat, isn't it? Long queues on holidays. Long queue. Our order has a long queue. Each customer buys buns. At least ten dumps. This old bun shop on Jinshan Street. With a 15 yuan bun. Witness what crowds are money tides. We'll try to catch up. Because the customers line up for a long time. If you tell him about the limit again. Queue for a long time to buy 10. He will be disappointed. Maximum number guess. 1 200 pieces yes. Yes. If you just come to buy one on the spot. I just told him to go around first. Go shopping wait a minute. About another 450 minutes. Just came to get it. One more minute. It's alright. It's alright. Busy steaming buns. It's the boss Wang Daoquan. Selling buns for 35 years. Insist on the buns in the store are freshly made and steamed. Braised meat with scallions and meat is full of aroma. Sauerkraut cabbage. Get a strong ancient taste. The dense ji dough is sweet but not greasy. Every flavor sells well. Immediately out of the oven, it was instantly killed and put into the bag. Deliver to customer slash hand. Will there be pressure if the customer line is so long? Yes, so it's time to move quickly. So when I get off work, my back hurts. Like me and my sister, especially her pressure, big. She almost fainted when she saw so many people. You may be curious. A bun. What is the charm? But seeing this line of people getting longer and longer. Steamed buns rise from the oven. Adding to the lively atmosphere. Picture of Kwaisho Bowsy. Never stopped. Because this bun is round, it has curvature. So we might. Hand will follow. Follow the arc of this bun. Run like this. In this way, the bun will. Its round shape is less likely to be squeezed. Almost. In fact, it is about 16% off to 20% off. Like before our desktop. About 78% off. That discount is less. But if the discount is less. The skin on this side will be thicker. Pack 1, about 120 seconds. Thousands of buns are challenged every day. Four flavors evenly placed. Open from 5 a.m. to 4 p.m. The locals have breakfast and the foreign guests are companions. Wang Daoquan's buns are always steaming hot. How many cages will there be? Cage 29, PCS. Most of them will buy onion meat. It's very fresh and the crust is very Q. The onion meat bun is the signature of the store. The stuffing with scallion and fresh meat is juicy and full. Handmade dough. More solid and elastic. This from Daddy's. Red onion meat bun. It depends on persistence starting from the selection of ingredients. This is Samsung onion, because it has a longer white onion. And the onion meat is thick. Cut it off and feel it. Is this onion good, right? Because the onion is white, it has a fragrance. But this onion tail will be spicy. It will be a bit spicy. We used to wear glasses when cutting by hand. Because it was cut in half, tears kept spraying. Make this fresh onion bun from the very beginning. Later, I slowly added other flavors. Veteran fresh onion meat bun. Strictly selected two-star shallots for filling. This is the unchanging insistence of the old shop. And Wang Daoquan's understanding of pork. Also more than average. It's because dad used to be a pig farmer. Wang Daoquan can be said to have seen the big picture since he was a child. We have also raised pigs for several ten years. In addition, I also sell pork on the way. Sell 778. We will all choose the hind leg of the pig. Plus this is pure fat pig fat. Well, we actually make buns. Instead, the hind legs are needed. Because there are more lean meat components. The nutrients in it. The freshness and sweetness of pork. Will be relatively high. Seasoned with soy sauce, simple salt, sugar, pepper. Not too much manual addition. After thoroughly mixing with meat. I can see the fresh appearance. It stirs along the direction and texture like this. The fiber of its meat is less likely to be destroyed. Onion. The ratio of onion to meat seems to be about the same. So we are relying on onions a lot. To spice it up. I used to eat up to 13. When it was first sold. I usually eat more than 10. 
The taste of minced meat with shallots will never get tired of smelling. Baozi is not afraid of eating. Wang Daoquan's feelings for Baozi. It's been like a day for decades. When I was young, it was because I loved to eat steamed buns. I only knew when I grew up selling steamed buns. These buns are not only for their own dreams. It also carried the expectations of Prince Shishuan. 80 years old this year. Wang Xuexian still often visits the store. I grew up in a poor family. There is even a problem with the registration fee for going to school. At the age of 14, he went to a famous pastry shop in Keelung, learn a craft and work part-time. Passionate about dim sum. But in order to live and take care of the family, he can only choose to return to his hometown to raise pigs. My father is a telecommunications bureau. He gave birth to eight children. A total of ten can't afford to eat. I used to raise pigs. Pigs are cheap. I raised almost 200 sows. Raised to a total of almost 2,000. Have to work hard to live. After raising pigs for fame, Wang Xuexian did not forget the love of dim sum. A few years later, the price of pork fell. He thought why not use his own pig as stuffing. Apply what you have learned. Applied on buns. Wang Jia Baozihan started the initial stage. We have been making buns for 20 years. No pigs at all. So at that time, it was right to take care of both sides. Three-sided. Soaking and steaming. Front bag and steamed. Backstage is where the dough is made. A piece of pressed skin. Split fermentation. Only when you are in the best condition can you meet the guests. Must have a normal prime time. Let it ferment. Only in this way will the skin be fragrant and have a Q degree. Our ordinary family speaks on the stage. Tabletop dough is softer. It has a texture like a turtle. Does dad know you like to eat buns? I do not know. Because homemade. Make about 1-200 buns each time. I ate almost half of it. No matter which part, Wang Daoquan always sticks to his original intention. Holding the simple belief that I like to eat steam stuffed buns. From one bag to thousands of pieces every day. From one bag to thousands of pieces every day, there are customers queuing up early in the morning. Such a grand bun shop. In fact, after the initial setbacks. Not very good at first. In the beginning we sold until noon. At 12 o'clock. Sometimes there are dozens of them left. I'm going to carry these buns. Go to the market and go to every vendor. Ask people one by one if they want. Please see if you want to buy something like this. Our progress is slow. It's just slowly. You look good for decades. It's not that I've been doing it for a few years. Just do it like this. Did the steamed buns also exist from the beginning? No. It's only after a few years. Same skin. The texture of steamed buns should be firmer. So it will be harder. Hidden version of steamed buns. It's a limited edition item. Because the fermentation time is different from that of the steamed bun dough. Another process is required to complete. Solid taste with a dense inner layer. Whether it is original flavor or brown sugar, there are many loyal customers support. Wang Daoquan's life is surrounded by buns every day. Tired but happy. Sneak in. The most gratifying thing is the feedback from customers. This is a traditional industry. And it is sustainable. Because I see a lot of guests came here to line up to eat and buy. There will be that feeling of satisfaction. I'm actually very pleased to see it myself. Satisfied. I think it is quality. Quality can't go away. Father's voice. Have become a sweet burden on Wang Daoquan's shoulders. Life around buns. Full of ups and downs. Every day, one by one, the bags are released from the oven. The steaming steamed buns warm up the sense of sight and taste. Warm Jinshan town every morning. In Taiwan, salted crispy chicken can be said to be the overlord of the night snack world. I'll show you next. This very special shop in Taipei. Salted crispy chicken sold here, the practice of combining unitary meals. In addition to the classic must-eat fried chicken and other options. With jalapenos. Cheese pork roll. Or the concept of bisque. Combined with Elan cuisine. Original shrimp flavored cake. The driving force behind delicious. Two very young girls. They all came from school. Also worked in a foreign Michelle restaurant. Unique creativity surprised many guests. Crispy salted chicken with golden surface. Flying in hot pan. Unlike traditional practice. Just fry it up. This quick fry. 
but absolutely indispensable. Our pepper is our own modulation. We used black and white pepper. They are all ground into powder, and then with some Chinese herbal medicine, or some western spices in it. So after this action of frying, heating with fire, then it will make the whole fragrance even more elevated. 15 Spice Peppercorns Add garlic and saute onions. Bring a full plate to the table. The strong fragrance comes out. Dine on high chairs at the bar. Salted crispy chicken shop average price, but with a bit of a trendy bistro vibe. Not bad, I think it's actually very special. Just not that. Traditional style, salted crispy chicken shop. Yes, it seems to be in a wenching style. Like that roadside salted crispy chicken. Maybe it's just a pot. Mix things that all taste the same. This is how every taste is exquisite. Delicacy and beauty. Salted crispy chicken with western style. Because of the two driving forces behind the meal. Both come from a western food background. Wearing a well-fitting dark apron. Busy in the kitchen with a western knife. Reebok in the past. Also went to work in restaurants in Spain. Probably made western food. Have done more than 10 years of experience. And most of them are in Taipei. Some of the more upscale restaurants. Have been to Spain. Michelin 3 and 1 star. Probably add up. Years work. Back in Taiwan she met a pig. Two hit it off. Everyone wants to build their own dining world. So resolutely quit the high-paying job. Start from scratch. Turn out one after another unique good material. Cheesy pork meatloaf. In addition to adding onions and garlic. The most special secret weapon is this taste. Like this jalapeno. Because it has been pickled. So it will be a little sour. And it's spicy enough. So don't add too much. And so because we're fried. So this has a little sour taste in it. Won't feel so tired. With Hungarian paprika and Sciatalia spices. Flavored pork tenderloin. Knead with your hands. Infuse the flavor slowly into the fibers of the meat. Wrapped in spring roll wrappers and shaped into sculptures. If our oil is warm, basically set at 200 to 210 up and down. Yes because if it's too low, fried will contain oil. We are frying at high temperature. Full golden yellow rectangle. Toss in hot oil. Cut the crispy coat after frying. Thick cheese mixed with gravy. Like a milky waterfall. The taste of pulling silk into the mouth. Can't help but take one bite after another. I think its skin is really powerful. Just very brittle. Then there is thick cheese. It's like spring rolls. Then there's ground pork in it. Adjusted some spiciness. Added a lot of cheese. So very right. Taiwan style crispy taste. Western style stuffed meat. Successfully conquered the picky mouths of gourmets. Although it is often full of people. But when it first opened. Two girls are busy. But always can't wait for the guests to come to the door. Really for the guests. He doesn't know what we're selling. Because of the first name. It's not like what's sold outside. What is it? Salted crispy chicken. We don't have. The three words of salted crispy chicken. So they will say. What are you selling? Are you selling lo mei or something? No. It sells salted crispy chicken. Because we will periodically. Introduce different blackboard dishes. And there are quite a lot of guests. It's possible we this time. It's different. Then they'll ask. When will it come out again? Then we'll say. Eat the new one first and say yes. Then it will go round and round like this. Ground pork with rosemary. Spices such as basil leaves. Force a strong smell in the temperature. This is not Spanish. It is an improved version of Elon snacks. Shrimp cake. Because we actually mainly. Based on Elon's traditional cake residue. But we added some. The practice of Spanish croquettes. So we'll keep some. Taste inside. Just eat. Less boring. Stir-fry pork and shrimp. Then add the pre-cooked shrimp soup batter. Stir until the whole pot becomes thick. This is dill leaf. And because dill leaves go well with that shrimp. That's why we wanted to say. Then add a little dill leaves. Add layers of flavor to it. After boiling, enter the mold to form. Let cool and refrigerate for a full day. Deep fry. In order to have a soft and melt-in-the-mouth taste. Crispy skin. After biting open, the center is dense and delicate. The fresh and fragrant shrimp flavor spreads in the mouth. Because it is crispy on the outside. The inside is tender and smooth. It's special. Different. The shrimp flavor is really strong. Just came here to eat. Addicted to eat. Only this family's unique taste. Became the orthographic mark of Reebok and Piggy. Many celebrities. I also made a special trip to taste their craft. Like the lead singer of XIN Orchestra. Supermodel Lin Yoli. 
Even Taiwan's first Michelin chef Jiang Jinching. I'll visit. The chef Jiang Jinching is here. I'm so nervous that I don't know how to speak. I just dare to tell the little pig that I want to take a picture with him, but I dare not go. We'll be very scared and nervous. But the second time, seriously muster up the courage. Chef Jiang, I want to take a photo with you. Chef Jiang, I want to take a photo with you. Creative ideas learned in the past. The wonderful taste of becoming a Thai Western hybrid. Evolved salted crispy chicken. Sprinkled with the most unique dream seasoning.